What's up guys, Brian back from the PT channel here just to tell you what's going on with me this week. And uh, yeah, so as I make this video, I want to say thank you to everyone that has watched our videos, subscribed, liked, shared, all that good stuff. Um, but we have 500 subscribers today. This is my first video from hitting that 500 mark. So thank you. We appreciate that. Awesome. Can't do it without you guys. Keep to have this party rolling for it. But enough of that good stuff. But ultimately, what's going on with us in the world of therapy? Oh, before that, you know, before I get to that, we got just uh, had a good back workout at the gym. Had my uh, chicken, rice, pasta, and broccoli. Had the protein pasta. Um, some good stuff. Um, it's whole wheat. Gives you a little more protein in there. And uh, chicken breast and white rice and just some broccoli. So, yeah, it's uh, got to eat your meal 30 minutes before, uh, 30 minutes, sorry, after a workout, very important to have. But, um, yeah, long week, tough week, not too bad, not too crazy, but um, the big things that were going on in the world of therapy, at least, are uh, we are not massage therapists as physical therapists. Um, that came up a couple times this week where... Massage therapy and physical therapy are somehow like this with people. I, I don't know why. But ultimately, they think we're the same thing. People, I can't count how many times patients have come up to me and said, did you go to school for this? Or when's my massage? Basically, like, what do you think I do? Like, just massage you just to make you feel better? And that's my whole thing with this? No, I don't do that as a therapist. And it's, it's terrible. So I looked up how to, be, how to become a, a massage therapist because I went to school for seven years to get my doctorate of physical therapy. And not to hate on massage therapists by any means. I don't, I don't hate on any other uh, medical field whatsoever. You know, I might not like a certain person or a doctor or a chiropractor or, or something, but that's just the person. That's not, that's not the medical, the realm of those things. But anyway, massage therapists... You can become a massage therapist in less than a year and a half. So let's say a year and a half, become a massage therapist, get your certification and everything, all done, licensed, everything to go. It takes a therapist four years of undergrad and then three years of grad school to get your doctorate of physical therapy. So you have a seven-year education versus a year and a half. You're going to be more qualified in that. But somehow we're linked in that too. Somehow the world of physical therapy has been in the realm of conjunction with, oh, they'll, they'll give you a hot pack, ultrasound, massage, electrical stimulation, and some ice. And then maybe a little uh, maybe a little exercise, but probably not. So I don't know how it came about. I've only been a therapist for over seven years and by far from that. And I would just like to, uh, just the general public, like why do you think massage therapy and physical therapy is what you get there? Why do people come into therapy and they think like, oh yeah, massage, that would help me out, that would be great on there too. It's just, but a lady came in and she was telling our front desk staff, I don't know how this is going to work and everything on this, but the massage will probably feel good. And a receptionist knows she's going to be a therapist down the road too when she goes back to school, but it's like, we're not massage therapists. We're going to get you better in different realms, but we might do some manual therapy, which has some massage in it, but it's not just straight massage. You're not going to get a half hour or an hour long massage. That's not going to happen, at least with me or my clinic. And that really should stop in the world of therapy. Like therapists should not do that because they're, they're setting the example of that too. If they go to one place to another, well, at the other clinic, they did this. At the other clinic, they did this. If it's across the board, now, they don't really do that, then they can't say, well, the other clinic did this. If they say, oh, yeah, we did that 15 years ago. I had therapy and they gave me massage. You can say, well, times have changed. We, we became evidence-based. We do more things practical. We do things for a reason. And massage, we might do a little bit of that, but that's not going to be the only form of treatment on that too. And I do manual therapy. I'm a, I'm a certified manual therapist through Ola Grinsby Institute. And I know that manual therapy and massage and techniques to help decrease muscular tension and tightness, get the blood flowing constrictions, myofascial releases, they work. And I do that, but I don't do an hour-long massage. So it's just pretty terrible. So I want to just make the point where massage is not medically necessary. 
but therapy can be shown to be medically necessary. So people go to the doctor and they say, oh, I got some back pain or neck pain or shoulder pain or something's bothering me and it's really been bothering me for a long time and they might do an x-ray or they do this or they put them through the test a little bit and they can walk and they're doing anything and they're not, they don't have any surgery and they're not doing anything bad. They'll say, oh, you have some arthritis or some wear and tear or whatever and you go to therapy, they'll give you a massage and they'll make you feel better. So I'm sure some, some doctor's offices are, are painting that picture to us. And that's terrible. That's terrible to think that, that they come in, they're expecting to get hot pack, massage, palliative care stuff on there too. And for some people, you have to do that because that's all they're going to care. That's all they want. And that's all they're going to care about. But I try to throw in some massage in there too. I try to get a couple units of exercise and some, you know, therapeutic activities, neuromuscular re-ed for certain cases, or, or manual therapy will be thrown in there, but I don't, I don't want to do an hour-long massage. My, my hands aren't going to do that. My arms aren't going to do that. And plus, if I have three, four patients an hour, that's definitely not going to happen. This, this is just no feasible way. I'm going to give someone a 20-minute massage while three other people are just sitting there looking at me to say, yo, buddy, what, what, are you, what are you going to do next while you're giving this lady a massage? That ain't going to happen. That ain't ever going to happen in a world where you can make yourself productive and efficient, you're not going to be able to do that. Now, if you're running a side business, if you're going, you know, secondarily things to supplement your income, then possibly if you're a one-to-one -one clinic or one-to-one -one care, then you have a little more time to do that. So then you might be able to do that a little bit more too, if you have your Medicare's and your TRICARE's and different insurances, or if it's medically necessary to do some manual therapy techniques after surgery for massage to get the swelling out, to get the inflammation out too. So again, massage therapy and physical therapy are not the same. And we need to set the example of that. Uh, same thing with that doctor again. If you were all these all the other scripts, the diagnosis was right shoulder. That's it. Intensive PT they wanted. I don't even know what that means. It turns out the person had a right rotator cuff tear in June 2015, and they're doing terrible. So I'm supposed to get this person better from right shoulder and intensive PT. It found out that they had surgery last year. They didn't do anything. They were doing this. She's just, it was just, she was terrible. It was a horrible situation. She was yelling at me and frustrated with me and, and the situation and all that stuff. And she's like, I don't even know why I'm here. And I'm like, well, I'm trying to get you better. I want to find out what the information is. And she was taking it out on me. I just met the lady. It happens all the time where the person, as soon as they see a medical person like that too, they're going to be yelling at me. But I try not to do that in that aspect. So... Other than that, that's the big things I want to highlight with that. We are not massage therapists, and sometimes you get that where it's kind of crazy with it. All right, guys, so that was my, I guess, weekly rant of some craziness that was going on this week. I could have many more videos about the craziest of that, but there's just some things I wanted to highlight about that. Massage therapists and physical therapists are not the same thing. I know the people that tell me that do not watch YouTube probably because they're 60, 70, 80, 90 years old that tell me that typically. Um, but <laughs> generally, if you're a therapist watching this or interested in PT, we need to set the example that we are not massage therapists. And if doctors could put more uh, information down in their prescriptions so we can know what's going on there instead of right shoulder and intensive PT. Great. That tells me a lot. So, But anyway, guys, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you for the uh, subscribers. Keep up the good work. And I'll try to keep making these videos for you and bring post comments, questions about things that you want me to talk about so I can have some content so I can answer your questions. Q&A always works best so I can kind of hit the things that you are interested in or you want to know about. Right, guys, so thanks for watching.